hello. My name. Sorry, let me start over. Hello. <laughs> Hey, um, my name is Lucy Sims, and this is the Lucy Y Podcast. I've been doing this for like five or six months. You would think it wouldn't be as weird to me as it is, but it is. I'm in bed right now, my favorite place in the world, not specifically this bed. I can make any bed my home. Baby's right here underneath my shoulder, and... Um, the last two, see, I've started this to, like, help me be able to express myself, so I'm, this episode specifically, and, like, going forward, I'm trying to talk in full sentences, (laughs) and, like, be clear and concise, but, okay, so the last two ones, like, I've done it with people, so, uh, the last solo podcast I did, I talked about my breakup, so. And this is the first one since then. Not that it matters, but <laughs> I'm just... You know how you, like, plan things to go in your head and then it's, like, completely different when you start talking out loud? Is that just me? I know I'm not the only one, that's why I'm doing this. So. it I don't know, I keep looking at my double chin when I'm, like, back, but... Today, I thought it would... I've always kind of wanted to do a get-to-know-me tag, and, like I said, I'm gonna try to talk in full sentences. So. So, it's also Friday, March 22nd, 2.18pm. It's the new year, it's the new spring. Oh, I'm gonna try... It's hard for me to pick choices, too, so I'm going to try to, like be decisive okay so first question what is your name my name is Anne Lucille Sims second question what is your middle name Lucille I go by Lucy parents kind of decided that before I was born and I, I guess I've stuck with it where are you from I'm from Lexington Kentucky where do I live? I live in Lexington, Kentucky. Where do you do for a living? Um, I like to make videos. I make art. And I've been, like, house-sitting and dog-watching a lot recently. And cats. Um, what is my favorite color? I'm going to be decisive on this. Purple and yellow, if I had to choose. I've always had an affinity for both those affinity what is my star sign um if we're talking tropical cancer we're talking sidereal it's gemini and i'm very much those but we're all 12 signs it just matters where it is in the time you were born and which house they were in i know a lot about that what is my favorite music genre um classic rock if I had to pick I love pop too I like to be able to dance to it it really depends what mood I'm in who's my favorite musician okay being decisive Kid Cudi Post Malone the Beatles favorite food um I love Mexican food and I love fettuccine alfredo from Fazoli's Favorite drink, um, cherry coke. I'm being decisive here. Um, favorite snack. It's funny today, like I just gave blood too, so if that has any effect on how I'm feeling. Um, I'm eating like all snacks today. Pretzels, I like pretzels, chips. I love chocolate covered blueberries. Any chocolate snack I would do. Favorite holiday? Um, I'm surprised they didn't ask me my birthday. Um, My birthday is July 3rd, so I've always liked 4th of July, fireworks, 
does my birthday count as a holiday? I think it does. Um, I like Halloween and I like Christmas. Favorite pastime? Um, Lucy stuff. Doing nothing. I like making art. I like googling my curiosities. <laughs> That's my favorite pastime. Favorite sport? Um, to play. Um, if dance was a sport, I'd like to dance. I don't like to do it competitively. I like to swim. I don't really love to do it competitively. So <laughs> soccer was fun to play competitively. Um, yeah, diving goes. I like diving. Um, what is something you are talented at? What am I talented at? Um, talented at drinking water and eating food. <laughs> I'm talented at making people feel seen, heard. That's a talent. That's a talent. Making people feel calm or stressed out. <laughs> I feel like I can do both really good. What is something you wish you were talented at? Oh, singing. I, I think that's a skill that you could work on. And I would love to do um, lessons to do that. Am I competitive? No. I can be. But... I don't like to put that much, like, effort, not effort, um, emphasis on, like, winning. Like, life or death. Like, I don't like that. Because I'm, like, all in or not. Describe yourself in a single sentence. Um, I am all that I am. Um, I am Lucy Sims. <laughs> Those are both senses. Describe yourself in a single sentence. I guess if I was really trying to describe myself. I am someone who... I am a girl, 23-year-old girl. It didn't ask me my age or my birthday. I'm a 23-year-old girl who is very curious, likes to ask why. Um, who has grown a lot. Who used to be really shy. Never really wanted to be shy, but always felt, like, scared to do everything. Talk to anyone. I hope it's focused. <laughs> Someone who kind of has ADHD, if you want to give it a name like that. Um, I love animals. I love dogs. I don't like being told what to do. <laughs> That's why I'm not doing the question that right. But, um, okay, what is the best compliment you have ever received? Uh, best compliment I ever received. I like um, when people tell me my voice makes them feel calm. I like when people tell me they feel calm around me. I like when people notice how s they mentioned how smart or intelligent or unique I am. I really like those. What are some of your bad habits? I was going to say... I could be obsessive compulsive about some things. That's a bad habit. Mm, perfectionism. Which goes into procrastination. I would say being late, but that's not that bad. I am I can be late a lot. Or right on time. What are some of my favorite things about myself? I like how curious I am. I like how nice I am. I like how funny I am. Like, I'm never bored. I like being by myself a lot. What is on top of my bucket list? Um, I've been skydiving before. That was one of the things I always wanted to do. I've been to Africa before. That was one of the things I've always wanted to do. Uh, I want to travel... To at least every country. I think that'd be cool. 
uh, not I mean every country would be cool every continent I mean um what are three sh long term goals ooh three long term goals um I'd love to have a family and kids I'll rope that into one get married family kids that's one um kid the bucket list thing where I'm traveling be a long term goal um, I love to see my grandkids. That's a crazy thought. I'd love to have more people on this podcast. The next one's three. What are three short-term goals? That could be a short-term goal. I'd love to, like, I mean, really work on, like, being comfortable, like, looking into the camera and, like, saying full sentences and, like, being clear, concise about, like, what I want to talk about and project, like, that is a great one to go into either long or short. I know I'm trying to be more decisive, but <laughs> it's hard. What are you doing today to help you achieve those goals? Oh, well, I'm doing this right now. Oh, I mean, a goal is to help, like, people, obviously. I gave blood today. I think that's helping people in one way. Every person I meet or come into contact to, I think, like, a goal is to be, um help in whatever way I can by being my most authentic self I think we can help a lot of people what is my biggest accomplishment uh I mean being alive today is an accomplishment 23 years um I mean, I'm really proud of myself. Like, I've always wanted to make videos, so that's a big accomplishment for me to even, like, be doing this. What is an ideal first date for you? I don't know why Fazoli's comes to my mind, like, right away. <laughs> Honestly, like, I would take it. A Fazoli's date. Maybe, like, playing with some horses or, like, petting some horses would be cool. What is something you look for in a partner? Um, where we have that like undeniable connection, spiritual connection. And they have to be funny. Who is your role model? Uh, Jesus. My parents. Which of your parents are you more like? I'm like both of them. I really am. If you see pictures of them on my Instagram, I'm sure. Uh, I look like both of them. I'm like my dad in a lot of ways, and I like my mom in a lot of ways. Which of your parents are you closest to? Well my dad died when I was 16 so but I've always said like I felt I feel a lot closer to him because I feel like he's with me like all the time now and I feel more of my authentic self now so like I just feel closer to everyone now that I feel like I'm more authentic but I live with my mom and we've been, like, a lot, it's been hard, but, like, I've always been close. She used to say, like, I mean, as a baby, like, I was attached to her head. I was, like, an appendage or something. Um, was the last book I read? The Bible? Not in its entirety, though. I'm working on that, but, um, yeah. I read a lot of, like, reddit or like websites 
Facebook, Twitter. <laughs> I guess that's not a book. I'd have read... Mm, I pretty much answered that question. What is my favorite fairy tale? I've always liked Sleeping Beauty. So that. <laughs> what is my favorite quote? Um, you know, my... I think my 8th grade quote was like, Live and let live. And my senior quote was, um, like, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. I said that at my dad's funeral memorial. I guess that's a, that's a big accomplishment, too, like, looking back. Like, I'm really proud of myself for doing that. I felt like, like I really wanted to. I felt like, like I needed to and I really wanted to. But that one's, it goes with a song that I've posted on my Instagram, the announcement thing I posted when my dad died. It's like one of the top things pinned. It's not a monkey song. Oh, it's Turn, Turn, Turn by the Birds. Is it? I think. I don't know. I used to say, uh, I'm here... I'm here for a good time, not a long time. I used to say that a lot too. I still like it, but I do want to be here to like see my grandkids or like have kids. Like, but I mean, we don't get to choose when we go. I guess you can, but it <laughs> that I don't know. Like, I, I do I really want to have kids. I've always wanted to have kids. I talk about my kids a lot. If my kids are reading this, I think about you a lot. I said that in a vlog the other day. Okay, it's kind of hard to scroll because my finger's like this. Oh, uh, what is my favorite subject, favorite subject in school? Mm. If freshman year of high school, I went to two different schools. I took psychology as a like one of those extra classes see I get distracted um I really like that I've always been into psychology and art in college but study hall one of my favorites I always like gym yeah I think a lot depends on the teacher too Subject you were best at. Oh gosh. Once I got the best grades in. I mean, each year was so different. I was typically better at English. Like barely, like, I don't know. Math, not as much. But that's what, it was so dependent. I really did not get good grades. Gym, I was probably best at, <laughs> or ballet. I would went to creative and performing arts school, and my major was ballet. So sometimes I didn't do great in that. Favorite teacher, you know, it's a third grade. Like I barely have any memories, but I just remember him being my favorite teacher, Senor Mato, at Maxwell. That he was my favorite for some reason. After that, I don't know. I liked Miss Foley from Sarah. She's an artist. Look her up. Who has left the most impact on your life? Uh, my parents, my dad. What app do I use the most? Google. Probably. What piece of technology can you not live without? A camera? Anything with Google? I mean, I think I could live without everything. I went without technology for like 30 days in 2019, right before I got baby. 
She kind of went into the back, I think. What countries have you visited? I've visited a lot. I'm very grateful. A lot of beaches. I've been to Fiji, Africa, Canada, and then a lot of the Caribbeans, Mexico. Um, what is on top of your bucket list? I feel like I already asked this, but traveling and reaching people and once again getting married having kids most embarrassing memory i've had a lot i've had a lot of period things like uh, not to i mean like blood running down like my pants like in the middle like where everyone can see while dancing getting on um chairs and stuff couches like other people's chairs and couches so embarrassing falling in front of my face that's not that bad everyone does that um a lot of embarrassing stuff with guys i would say how many relationships have you been in three technically if you could give your younger self any advice what would it be um, Lucy you are more cared for than you realize and just be yourself fearlessly do what you want to do and don't live for other people and like be uh, like let other people like dictate your life so much like I felt like I was living for other people so live for you and help other people because that's what you want to do um but I, so I felt like I couldn't help other people the way I wanted to because I was always helping the wrong people you know what I mean um one thing you know now that you wish you had known as a kid ditto to everything I said like a minute ago um, if I had known my dad was gonna die I don't know if I would want to know that but I wish I knew like this about boundaries that to keep them strong that I can have them I deserve to have them and to keep them strong and to stick my gun with the guys. Like, I, I kind of wish I knew, like, I don't regret anything. Because I wouldn't be who I am today. But, like, I always thought, like, w one person would come into my life. And it was, like, that was going to be it. And I wish I knew, like, it would be, it's okay that that's not it. And that's not really, like. Too normal? I don't know. Tea or coffee? I like both. I like trying to be decisive. Uh, I have like mint tea every night. I don't know. If I could have soda and tea, I'd do that. So tea. How tall are you? Um... Last time I went to the doctor, like, ten years ago, they said, like, five, six, and three quarters. I told the blood person today I'm five, seven. My license says five, eight. Who knows? I think, aren't I taller in the morning? Cats or dogs? I guess I would say dogs. I like both, though. Funniest moment throughout school. What is a funny moment throughout school? Um... Um, school in general was funny I'm thinking like a lot of things that don't like in my school years I loved when my dad drove me to school 
that's one memory is my dad taking me to school and he forgot I was next to him in like this small little car but I was so quiet and like we missed the exit and everything we kept going I felt like I had I knew something I'm like I think he missed it like I'm just not gonna say anything um he was very ADHD too so I get that from him and I don't know we just like forgot he's like why didn't you say anything like look next to me and said that I'm like I don't want to go to school and we were late like almost every day so that's funny <laughs> I got most likely to be late senior year and when we were going to Scapa, there was donut days nearby and we're like we're already late let's just go get donut <laughs> how many countries have I visited my mom gave me a necklace I'm kind of looking at it with all of the countries I've been in it's kind of a lot I'm very grateful are you in slash have you gone to college? I've been to like three different colleges, um, UK, University of Kentucky, BCTC, Asbury University. I've taken breaks a bunch. Don't tell me to go to college, but yeah. Um, what was my favorite slash worst subject in high school? Favorite subject? That's what study hall. <laughs> I was bad at math, but I love math when I get it. Because it's like a puzzle. I love puzzles like that. What was my favorite animal? I really love, like, all animals. I really love monkeys. I really love lions. Dogs. What sports do you play slash have you played? I don't play any right now. I like to dance in my room alone. I've done a lot of sports. I've done tennis, swim, dive, dance, um, soccer, golf, cheer. I think that was pretty much it. What is my favorite book? The Bible. <laughs> Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? I... It's changed... Around... I really love the Hughes, Lindsay and Megan Hughes. I don't watch them as much anymore. Like, I've... But I really loved them. Um... I'm really loving podcasts right now. I'm loving Whitney Cummings' podcast. I like Trash Tuesday. I like Rick Glassman's podcast. What is your favorite movie? Um, Pop Star Never Stop Never Stopping. I could watch that over and over again and not get tired of it. I like Forrest Gump too. Are you single or taken? Single. <laughs> what was your idea of an ideal first date? It's already asked me that. How many girlfriends slash boyfriends have you had? Uh, sorry, you asked me that. Favorite memory from childhood? Um, that's a hard one. I do... Uh, one time getting off a cruise, like, you know when you get off cruise and then you're supposed to be back by a certain amount of time? It stop somewhere like I was too young to like get alcoholic drink but I remember my dad putting the wallet in like a tree for some reason and then like them like frantically searching for the wallet like forever and I'm like here it is like I went and got it and like brought it back and they like praised me for like being the hero and then we made it like back like barely on time or something like I don't know if we would have been stuck there I've been like recall retold this story before many times that's why I, I remember but I'm like I vividly remember him putting it in then I've been told I have a good memory I've also been told I have a bad long-term memory so I don't know do you speak any different languages and how well um I went to Spanish immersion school up until like third grade oh um, so 
I was kind of good at Spanish. And then I took, like, sp- the recording stopped automatically. I just turned it back on. Um, I took Spanish, too, like, three times in high school. Never failed. Um, that's pretty much it. Do I have any siblings? Yes, I have three. Oldest brother, and then my sisters are twins, and it's like, they're like six, seven years older, and then my brother's like eight or nine. How would you describe your fashion sense? Comfortable. I like to wear boxers. Um, what is my favorite restaurant? Fazoli's. Or any Mexican restaurant. What are some of your favorite TV shows? It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and um, Parks and Rec. PC or Mac? Mac. What phone do you have? I have an iPhone 11 Plus. This fortune says the strength of your character will come in handy this week. I got that the other day. Panda. The other fortune cookie that had nothing in it. Um, tell us one of your bad habits. Already told y'all. I don't know how long this video has been. Let me see. It's been like 31 minutes. That's a good amount of time. This hasn't felt as much of like, um, I usually do like a stream of consciousness type of podcast and videos um so if you want to listen to any of those i have a lot um so yeah that's what i'm like thinking i'm like i feel like i would benefit from that right now so maybe i'll do that in like a different video but yeah um i hope you all have a great rest of your day and just i hope you're living life all love love all Trying to get a thumbnail.